the question which patient should be treated with which therapy. Um, and of course, it depends on the etiology of the tricuspid regurgitation. Currently, the main treatment is simply giving diuretics. But now with the evolving new therapies, I think that the focus or the valve will get more into the focus of physicians. Historically, the treatment has been always to wait for symptoms. My personal view is if you have a tri severe tricuspid regurgitation, always consider surgery in, in, as a, in an asymptomatic stage if this procedure is a low risk. So if I can do an endoscopic mitral valve, uh, tricuspid valve repair with a low risk, as a low risk procedure, so I always would consider it and discuss it with the patient if he's a good candidate for surgery. So I think medication is basically nowadays uh, should be reserved for the patient who are not really operable. We do not, not really have a uh, you know, low risk procedure to perform. In my mind, it's pretty clear that if tricuspid valve is severe, regurgitation is severe, and the patient has symptoms, of course you can try with some medication, but if there are symptoms of initial dilatation of the right ventricle, we should do something, we should do something rel relatively early. We should not wait too much, otherwise then we have this kind of 10% mortality. If the patient is young, you may consider surgical approach, but the direction will be more and more towards interventional because we don't have good data in surgery for tricuspid regurgitation. What's really interesting in the field of interventional uh, treatment for uh, tricuspid regurgitation is that we are having uh, uh, different devices. So it's really a, a, an intriguing space because there are lots of ideas, lots of concepts uh, uh, going into that field and it's uh, quite interesting to be on the, a physician uh, with, uh, with an eye on these designs because uh, something promising is going to come out from there for sure. The discussion is what we can do for our patient, which is the best solution of our patient. Sometimes will be surgical, sometimes we are transcatheter, sometimes will be we can do nothing. The clinician keep it on the optimal medication you can keep. And that's the message that we can pass to the cardiology, with the cardiology community. Work together, surgeons, uh, interventional cardiologists, and clinicians to find the best option treatment for those patients.